my goal is to try to keep my clients as far away from a courtroom as humanly possible. And so usually what we'll do is we'll put in, you know, a certain number of steps that they have to go through before they get to the courtroom. So like a very common one is before anybody can file for divorce, you got to go do six counseling sessions, you know, and sometimes mm -hmm. that takes the form of, uh, we're going to try to actually save the marriage. You know, we're going to work about, on the marriage. This is in the prenup. In this the can prenup, be there. Yeah. In the prenup itself. Um, in my wife and I, in our prenup, we have a rule that says either one of us can trigger three counseling provisions once per year throughout the entire marriage. Mm. So we have kind of that power because a lot of times what I've seen is there's a debate, you know, when one spouse wants to go to counseling, the other the one's other not one interested. And then that one comes around and the first one has already given up on the idea. So we set a rule at the beginning of our marriage. If either one of us wants to go to counseling, we're going to counseling. And we're doing three sessions. And, right? However, what, what happens if one of you says, no, I'm still not going? Well, then at least you know that the person that you're married to is not willing to live up to the terms of what they agreed to at the mm. beginning of the relationship. I think, I think a lot of it is going in with the correct expectations, mm -hmm. right? Like, what do you agree to be fair? It's kind of the same thing. We'll build in uh, kind of like these annual disclosures. I call them the shareholder meeting. Yeah. <laughs> um, so once a year, at a minimum, you got to sit down and you got to update your spouse on, you know, what the, what the debts are and what your income is. And let's take a look back at the, at the previous year and let's do some planning for the upcoming year when I mean, we literally have a checklist of things that we suggest couples look at. Yeah. So it's a prenup really almost gives you a framework or a scaffolding uh, to prompt couples to have the conversations that they should be having financially, no matter what, anyway, no matter what, anyway, it's really, you could, you could argue that a prenup is good for your finances, not just good for your marriage, but good for your, your, your retirement planning. Yeah, absolutely. You really can.